Is consciousness time running backwards? I have said that consciousness is antimatter. That is kind of a misnomer as I don't believe in neither matter nor antimatter. I only believe in the standing wave structure of matter in space. In the following clip from Science Channel, The Sixth Sense, Michio Kaku explains how antimatter mathematically is matter running backwards in time. If our minds really can see into the future, how can we explain it scientifically? In the 1860s, during the time of the American Civil War, physicist James Clerk Maxwell in England worked out the entire theory of light and electromagnetism. What Maxwell showed is that light, this mysterious thing that pervades our universe, is actually a wave. So we now know that light is nothing but a wave of electricity and magnetism oscillating together. Think of a dancer waving this gigantic flag. The hand motion comes first, and then the wave starts to unfurl. But let me let you in on a dirty little secret. There is a second solution to Maxwell's equation that has haunted physics for the last 150 years. There are also these bizarre advanced waves, solutions that allow you to see the future. In the advanced wave solution, the flag moves before the dancer's hand. Information travels from the future to the present. So could this alternate solution to one of the basic laws of physics explain Dean Radin's results? In the 1950s, Genius physicist Richard Feynman realized that advanced wave solutions were actually mathematical clues that a new form of matter existed, antimatter. Hmm. What looks like matter traveling backwards in time is actually hmm. antimatter acting perfectly normal. Matter going backwards in time is the same as antimatter going forwards in time. We thought that maybe, just maybe, it might be possible to see the future, communicate with our descendants from the present time. But here comes Feynman, who says no. Feynman won a Nobel Prize for this work. But Dean Radin isn't convinced that advanced waves rippling backwards in time from the future can be written off entirely. In modern physics, now we at least have a plausibility argument. But we can no longer say that the physical world makes it impossible. We know that it is possible. So the challenge now is to say, well, how do we connect this missing gap? Maxwell's equations predicted advanced waves as described. Could these advanced waves be our consciousness? I would be more than delighted to hear back from you on these matters.